Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. I wanted to come out today and share another dream that I was given that I believe is pointing to the time of our blessed hope, the time of the harpazo, the rapture of the church. And uh, I, I believe that this dream also points to this same scripture that I was given in my last dream uh, from Isaiah 26. And I'm gonna share the dream with you and then I'm going to uh, read that scripture again from Isaiah 26 verses 19 through 21. And I did run this dream past uh, my friend Joni Stahl, Joni Stahl's Field Notes. She has her own YouTube channel and she's gifted in dream interpretation. And she confirmed that she believes this dream does point to the time of the rapture of the church. Okay, so in the dream I was given last night, I was in what I would refer to as like a camp where there was a lot of people gathered and it was set up like motel units. Uh, there were there was a room for each person, okay? And as I looked down at these units, I could see many of the doors were open slightly, which I knew meant that it was okay for people to come and visit. And so people were walking around, visiting one another, socializing. And when I was outside, I, I was looking like at this field and I knew there were these feral cats that were in hiding and they would not come to me. All right, but when I went into my room, I looked through the window and I could see the cats in the field and they came out of hiding and they came to like a community food dish. All right, so what I believe this dream is telling us, first of all, a cat in a dream is symbolic of an independent thinker. Now that can be somebody who just goes against the grain, who uh, doesn't go along with the crowd, or it can also be like the unbelieving world. And in this dream, I believe that's what this refers to. Uh, the unbelieving world. And these these cats are very symbolic of the people who do not want to be around Christians. The Bible tells us that we as Christians are like the fragrance of death to those who are perishing. And that's because when they hear us talk, they see us, we remind them that they're on the wrong path and they don't want to think about that. So they would rather avoid us. Okay. But when I went back when I went back into my room and I looked through the window, okay, I could see them come out of hiding and they went to a community food dish. And I, I just got the sense that that dish just symbolized the empty cisterns of this world that they all gather at, okay, that, that there is no life in. And it was very sad and, and I, my heart felt very sad for these, uh, these feral cats. And so, but I do believe that the doors, okay, they are open now. They're still open, just like the body of Christ is still socializing and communicating and encouraging one another. But the time is coming quick when I believe those do doors are going to be shut behind us, all right? Because I believe it's time. We are getting really, really close. So I want to read Isaiah 26, verses 19 through 21, which starts with the resurrection of the dead and ends with the wrath of God being poured out on the world and this is what it says your dead shall live together with my dead body they shall arise awake and sing you who dwell in dust for your dew is like the dew of herbs and the earth shall cast out the dead come my people enter your chambers and shut your doors behind you Hide yourself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation is past. For behold, the Lord comes out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for, the, for their iniquity. The earth will also disclose her blood and will no more cover her slain. All right, so again, this all refers to Jacob's trouble, that time when God is going to bring wrath, judgment on the earth, there is a time when, when the price is going to be paid for the sin and the, the shedding of the innocent blood and uh, all of these things that have been going on for years. And there has been seemingly no justice for a lot of the crimes and a lot of the bloodshed that we have seen, millions of unborn babies but there will be a judgment. It is coming and it's called Jacob's trouble. And it's going to be a seven year period that God deals with his people Israel, but he will also be dealing with the unbelieving world. 
So it's just going to be an unparalleled time of darkness and judgment, a time when you don't want to be here. You don't want to be here for that. So I believe this is just another dream where the Lord is encouraging us to continue looking up, watching for the return of Jesus for his people, uh, and just remain steady until that day. I was watching a video by Wayne Fowler. He uh, had been given a lot of revelation in an after-death death experience years ago concerning the rapture. And so he is sharing now a lot of things on his YouTube channel about the rapture. And one of the things he was recently sharing is a seven-day seven warning that is, uh, he believes, very biblical that we are going to be given a seven-day warning. And so I'm going to leave a link in the description box to that video if you want to watch it. So these things that are about to unfold, the Lord is warning us. He is giving us warnings. And all we can do, you know, for our loved ones, friends who don't want to hear the truth, who don't want to be around anybody who's talking about the return of Jesus, just pray for them and just ask the Father to open their eyes. But as for you, church, as for me, I believe we need to be looking up because I believe our redemption is drawing very, very near. So as always, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.